was, uh, I think, is very intensive from that moment because after the three and a half weeks, our preparation uh, is a uh, rhythm and tempo was good. I think very important. Nobody is injured. Uh, both teams have the own chances. Both teams can win, can lose. But uh, I think uh, result maybe to the end is real. Maybe first 20 minutes we look a little bit better. After that first half, last 20 minutes uh, Kuala Lumpur looks better. And the second half, okay, both coaches with me and my, my friend Boyan, we, we change all the team. And uh, it's a good game. So after two matches, yes, three, one, three nil, right? So any positive, what's positive can you take from both matches? You know, uh, I'm new coach, my staff, uh, assistants, uh, fitness coaches, many of us is uh, new. Uh, in the first half, I, I looked at that, that team, only three players from the last season. Other players is new or from the bench. Okay, today, uh, before the match, we, we find uh, Sony Norde is not ready. Uh, in Teranganu stayed uh, Nick Sharif and uh, Faiz Nasir. And uh, okay, with them we will be looks better, I hope. And um, I'm satisfied today. Uh, we, I want to be looks like team to every moment we know what we're doing. When we have the ball, how to create it, our play, offensive play. When we lose the ball, how to play defense. Coach, uh, we know that uh, for some the pre-season result was maybe something that uh, the, some teams are not looking forward to. I mean, the result, the score. But for you, some maybe you don't want the players take it too easy because it's a pre-season. You know, uh, the result is always a good indicator to to uh, to good atmosphere. I don't want to lose any match, any friendly match. This is for self-confidence of team of me because we are many of us is new. But of course, uh, this is not number one. I want to, to make a good pre-season to my players be ready for the 90 minutes uh, high tempo to running, to, to, to fight. Of course, quality is something else. I expect from them because they are very good players. I expect more when we, after the maybe next two weeks, uh, to take some more freshness. And uh, from that moment, I'm satisfied. Uh, what, uh, what is your advice to Arisa since uh, a lot of Tengganu fans demand uh, from him? Yes, yeah, so everybody uh, look to him to maybe other glasses because he's national player of Th Thailand, uh, famous player. Uh, maybe uh, he has the little bit problem same like uh, Azam Azmi in my team. Because, you know, when Azam Azmi, uh, last season I was the technical director and uh, when we finished the season, he extends his season 12 months and more, and he is. Mm, this is not good for them. I hope uh, after the one weeks, maybe he one week he is not refresh enough. My opinion, and he don't looks like what I want. Because last season I saw Azam Azmi, one of best player in our team, Teranganu, and uh, between two three best uh, right uh, back in the Malaysia. And now he is not on top that level, but I hope in the future when we together will be longer, looks better. Uh, coach, can you just walk us through the, the rest of your preseason plans? Yes, uh, tomorrow we have the, some training morning, uh, some recovery, other player a little bit more working, but uh, uh, Tuesday, I think Tuesday, uh, Tuesday we play against Negri Sembilan and after that uh, we going back. 7 of February, uh, we travel to, to we travel to, to Bangkok, and there we have also four four pre-season matches. First two with the uh, Premier League of Thailand, second division, and after that Odense and Chamburi very to to high level intensive match. After that we will prepare for the first you know first round or first charity cup with GDP. Okay, just thoughts on the charity match against GDP. Yes, uh, you know, uh, I, I I said I want to prepare my team to to best what I can, and uh, I hope because this is first match, first match for for GDD, first match for us, I can we can fight with them. Thank you, thank you, thank you.